Hi, I'm Gloria Listener, and I'm the president of Famous Fido Rescue and Adoption Alliance. Um, now, it's an overwhelming epidemic and crisis throughout our nation that dogs are abandoned because people move, they have babies, they just don't want them anymore. I met Gloria about two and a half years ago. She had uh, rescued a dog from animal care and control where I'd been volunteering. Since that time, I've seen many, many, many beautiful lives saved. Uh, from overcrowded shelters, which I'm very grateful for. My passion with the rescue is to work with Gloria in rescuing and transporting dogs from local animal shelters. Pulling dogs from the rescue is a very emotional, um, or the shelter rather, is a very emotional um, thing to do because while well, you're there, knowing that you're going to be saving one animal, dog or cat, from euthanasia. You see a trail of people relinquishing animals, their personal animals, into the shelter while you're waiting to take one animal out. Uh, what the no-kill advocacy is, to me, is no more animals being homeless, being brought to shelters, euthanized for cage space. And our issue is the animal abandonment issue. No more animals in shelters euthanized for cage space and no more animals brought to shelters in the first place. Gloria is one of those gals who has a very deep reverence for life. The problem we face is that the public doesn't speak about dumping animals. We don't talk about people relinquishing animals. There are solutions that people don't have to go down to the shelter to dump their animals. When they enter the shelter system, they're scared, they're full of despair, they usually catch kennel cough or pneumonia, and they're euthanized for cage space. A movement really needs to be created to change the way we look at these animals and do not consider them property. I do appreciate the way that Famous Fido um, is kind of homing in on an issue that's important to address, and that is helping people rehome animals versus just quickly dumping them. Okay, over the years, um, I estimate we have saved thousands of animals. Since 2012 to 2013, we've saved 600 animals. Many of these animals, again, have been abused, neglected, haven't been worked with properly and they need rehabilitation, they need training, they need positive reinforcement. It also costs a lot of money and it takes a lot of people to rescue a dog. An individual dog, their vetting expenses can be up to $2,000 and the adoption fee that we charge is $200 for an animal. If I had one goal, it would be to stop the abandonment of animals at any local animal control. We work very hard on helping these guys and seeing them through uh, to giving them a new life. Our dream is to build a bigger space so we can save more animals and develop a learning center where people can come and learn about these animals and get counseled and re for the rehoming network. We need this environment to help these animals so they can find good homes and we can eliminate people bringing their animals to shelters. And we need more advocates, more advocates, more good rescues, more volunteers who not only are at animal care but are communicating with people before people even enter animal care, for example, because there are ways to rehome your animal. Without your help, they don't have a voice. We need corporate sponsors. We need grants. We need private citizens to help these animals by becoming monthly donors and sponsoring these dogs. Please help these guys. Without you, we can't do this job.